bacteria are the oldest and most diverse of life forms, and we're just getting to know them. A soil sample may contain up to a billion bacteria that we can grow, and as many more that we can't. In fact, most organisms living in soil haven't even been identified. Some bacteria make their homes in the Earth's harshest environments. Acid pools, caves without light, even ocean vents where temperatures may exceed 200 degrees Celsius. Scientists think we may find them on other planets. A meteorite traveling to the Earth from Mars carried with it fossilized shapes that some experts believe look like Earth-bound bacteria. Extraterrestrial rock hunts will look for more proof. For now, we're probing what all this diversity can do for us right here. And some tiny bacteria clearly possess industrial strength. In Yellowstone's hot springs, bacteria able to take the heat also have a knack for breaking down wood fibers. In the process, the wood fibers turn white. Imagine using bacteria instead of chemicals to turn paper white. Such imaginings turned into an eleven and a half billion dollar industry. Paper companies are replacing chlorine with bacterial enzymes. A much more environmentally friendly bleach. Bacteria have been put to work in gold mines too. At the Homestake Mining Company in Utah, Bacteria live in the cyanide baths that help extract the gold. Until Pseudomonas bacteria came to town, the cyanide residue flowed into Whitewood Creek and killed everything living in it. Today, all the water in the mine flows through these tanks, each housing over 9,000 kilograms of bacteria attached to plastic discs. As the discs rotate in and out of the cyanide baths, the bacteria get the oxygen they need from the air and the food they need in the water. That's right, they thrive in what's poison to us and they're willing to work 24 hours a day. Within six months, the bacterial workforce turned Whitewood Creek back into a fish-friendly stream. Four million gallons of clean water flow into the creek every day. Just think of the tiny talents we have yet to discover.